welcome to this week's video and more importantly welcome to my first ever vlogmas video on our channel. I've always enjoyed watching equestrian vlogmas videos and I thought why not kick off my first ever December run up to Christmas period on my YouTube channel with my very own edition of vlogmas. I'm not going to be vlogging every day obviously up until Christmas because I do work full time and a non-horsey job but I am planning on making sure that every weekly vlog up until Christmas has some kind of festive horsey element to it. So for my first First vlogmas video I thought why not kick it off by showing you all what I am planning on putting in Cody's Christmas stocking this year. I've collected a few bits that I'm going to show you all but I am planning on putting in a really large uh, Christmas stocking. Hopefully this will give you some ideas on what to put in your horse's Christmas stocking um, or just some presents for your horse and some treats for your horse in general. None of the items are overly expensive as you know I love a good bargain so I tried to do this on a budget and buy some realistic items that you could probably get at your local tack shop. Without further ado, I will show you the first item for Cody's stocking and hopefully you will enjoy this horsey stocking Christmas gift guide. So the first item I think is absolutely essential and necessary. Everyone gets one of these every year, so I thought why shouldn't Cody have one? Of course, it is a horse friendly advent calendar. This one is the Lincoln Farewell Christmas Advent Calendar for horses and ponies. So this has horse treats behind every single door right up until Christmas. I think it goes from the 1st of December up until Christmas Eve. Um, I don't think there's actually a door for Christmas Day, which is fine because Cody is obviously going to be getting all her other treats on Christmas Day anyway. The treats that are included are Ponyo's Carrot Chip Cookies. It says they are light, crunchy treats for cheeky horses and ponies. Guessing by the size of the doors, these are obviously very small treats. I paid £4 for this from our local tax store. You should hopefully be able to pick this up at your local tax store. If not, I will leave a link in my bio down below for you to buy one of these online instead. 24 treats in total all the way up to Christmas and it just gives us something cute and exciting to look forward to every day. The next item is actually another item that is Felwell themed or Felwell edition and it's a mini horse licks lick. So this is the mint flavour that I picked up and if you saw my vlog, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, our autumn vlog, you will have seen that I bought or my mum bought Cody her first one of these and she literally loved it so much. It works as the best distraction for Cody. Cody is so inquisitive. Obviously, she's a young horse. Um, she's very nosy anyway. So we found that this was a really great way to kind of keep her distracted almost. I just put it on the floor and she literally loves it so much. I said to my mum, this is like giving a child an iPad. As soon as I give it her, she just goes quiet. She is just focused on that and I can just get on with what I need to do. It also has these really cute features where you can write to and from so I've just popped on to Cody from Santa. Again I did pick this up from our local tax store the same one that I picked her advent calendar up from and I think I paid £4.50 for this so really cheap for something that will last quite a long time and will work wonders in distracting your horse if they're anything like Cody. Would it really be Christmas if you didn't get your horse a brand new head colour? I know what you're all thinking this is probably the plainest most boring head colour that I could have picked up but there is a reason that I bought this. I can't tell you all quite yet why I needed such a plain head collar, but all will become clear in next week's Vlogmas, so you must watch that to kind of find out why I picked the most plain and boring head collar. I don't actually think it's that plain and boring. I think it's quite smart. It is just simple black leather. Obviously, you don't have to buy a head collar as plain and boring as the one that I bought. You can go mad. You can buy fluffy head collars, head collars covered in Santas, rain Deers. they had all a different range of head colors in the shop that I was in. This is the HY Equestrian one and I paid £13.50 from my local tuck shop for this. Next up is also another edible item. It seems to be mostly kind of edible items in this video, but I know that Cody enjoys eating and treats more than anything else, so I obviously bought her a lot of stuff that I know she's going to enjoy. So I picked up a Himalayan Salt Lick for Cody. If you haven't seen or heard of one of these before, it's basically just a big rock of salt. That horses can lick that helps to give them some salt in their diet. This one is from Saltine, I think it's pronounced Saltine or Saltien, Mineral Licks, and I think I paid about £3 for this. 
I didn't order this directly from the website. Again, I picked this up from my local tack shop. Also, a great feature of this is that it actually has a rope attached to it, so you can hang it from different fixtures in your stable. If you've watched most of my previous videos, then you will know that we are a great big fan of pig oil and sulfur. I tend to use this quite a lot on Cody's legs, Cody's feet, the backs of her heels, just to try and help keep her coat waterproof and give her a little bit of extra protection for when she does go out in the turnout paddocks or in her field. So the next thing we decided that we needed for the Big Bouncing Orange was pig oil without sulfur. I love getting smellies and moisturisers and lots of nice skincare products for Christmas and especially in stockings. So I thought why should it be any different for Cody? What I mean by that is I'm hoping to use the pig oil on her coat now that she is clipped. Obviously I'm not going to be dousing Cody head to toe in pig oil, that is not the case at all. I'm just hoping on rubbing this on some of her drier areas for example her hip bones her, her shoulders uh, maybe in her armpits hate the thought of her possibly being uncomfortable now that she's clipped so i thought that having pig oil would just give her a little bit of an extra pamper and make her feel more comfortable in her rugs so yeah moisturizer for your horse is a must this year this is the pig oil from Sri Lanka. again you can pick this up in most local agricultural shops tank shops horse shops whatever you should be able to get this locally if not again I'll pop the link in the bio down below as you can see we paid six pounds 99 pence for this which I think is great for the amount that you get this should last us a good few months next up is definitely the cutest item or items in Cody's stocking this year and these are the mint fiber treats that I picked up from the tabletop sale that we went to in a few vlogs back these unfortunately are not branded so so I don't know whether the people that were running the tabletop store had just made them themselves or if they'd got them from elsewhere. But unfortunately, these aren't made by a specific company, so I can't tell you where to buy these from. I will do an internet search and see if I can find these online. If not, then I think the best way to make these yourselves would probably be ordering um, this kind of packaging from Amazon and then just getting fiber treats again from your local tap shop and filling them up and making them yourselves. I paid one pound per bag for these which I think is really good because you do get quite a few fiber treats in there and the packaging is so cute there's Merry Christmas on the front and then on the back and also little gingerbread men and little Christmas trees too I promise that is the last edible item in this week's video the final item or items aren't really a stocking filler although you could get them in one of the really big stockings or the really big gift sacks that you can buy so I picked up some of the Gallup fur brushing boots for Cody. Cody actually already has a pair of these and I thought why not treat her to two more so that she has a full set. As I say these really aren't a stocking filler because they are quite large but they are a real treat for us because it is not often that I buy anything with sheepskin or fur on. The reason for that is that it is so hard to keep clean um, and so hard to clean once it gets dirty. I have actually already used these as a full set. You will have seen in one of our dressage videos a few weeks ago I used these to warm up in. My intention for the full set is to use them to warm up at dressage competitions for Cody because that is probably when she is going to be the most clean or when her legs are going to be the most clean. If you don't want to get your horse boots or you don't have a horse that is in ridden work maybe just treat them to anything sheepskin whether it be a new head collar, a new saddle pad. I think sheepskin is always a treat so why not make it a Christmas treat for your horse. I paid £22.50 from these. I'm not entirely sure the website that I've got this from, but I will pop the link to them again in the bio so that you can check them out and get some for yourself. But I think Christmas is definitely the time of year to treat yourself and your horse. So why not spend a little bit more and pick up some fancy sheepskin boots? So that is actually it for my stocking filler horse gift guide. This is what will be going in Cody's stocking this year. Obviously you can alter this to fit your own horse. If you've got too many head collars, then maybe get them a new lead rope or a new bridle if they're in the need of a new bridle. Or if you can get a new saddle pad or numner into your stocking, then maybe treat yourself to one of those instead. 
As I said, I will do my best to find all of these items online and pop the links to these in the bio so that you can head over and grab yourself some bargains as well. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and the first episode of my first ever Vlogmas series on my channel. Each weekly video will be Christmas themed all the way up until the big day, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell to be notified every time that we post. Also feel free to follow us over on our Instagram page, our name is Adele at and I'll pop the link to that as well directly in the bio down below. If you did enjoy this video then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly Christmas haughty videos. We post every Sunday at 6pm. Again thanks for watching this week's video equines, I hope that you've enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's vlogmas video. Bye!